Hi there. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Um, if you're watching this video right now, you probably have been made aware or you've come across it organically. Uh, the controversy I found myself in on my Twitter in relation to the Shepmates F1 scandal that transpired last week. Uh, I'm making this video today to address that controversy, add some more context to what I said and what I actually mean, um, and to discuss what has happened in the aftermath and uh, discuss some unusual uh, things that have happened as a result of this, this whole situation. So if you haven't followed my Twitter, first of all, uh, you should go follow my Twitter, links in the bio. Now, but for real, like if, you, if you're not aware of what's happened, I'm gonna give you a quick rundown um, and I wanna directly address the parties in question. So for anybody not aware, uh, the F1 Grand Prix in Melbourne happened last weekend and, and the TikTok content creators, Shep Mates, were guests with Paramount Plus there to do like content and stuff. I'm not a big TikTok guy, so I don't watch them all that often, but uh, I do respect what they've been able to do. Uh, and that goes for all the other big TikTok creators. Like even though I don't watch them, uh, even though like I'm not the biggest fan of their content, I still respect what they've been able to do in terms of growing their profile and growing their brand into something so substantial. And you know, the most, most of the weekend, from my understanding went off without a hitch until they decided to follow the Formula One driver, George Russell into the urinal, record him while he's in the bathroom and then put it on on their TikTok for, for, for a laugh. Um, now this stirred up a bit of backlash, as you may imagine, uh, you know, it's a pretty substantial invasion of privacy. They deleted the post after almost a day of it being up. Uh, a lot of articles got written about this. There was a lot of uh, people on Twitter calling them out for it, uh, including me. Like I, 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 wasn't, uh, I wasn't a fan of what they did to say the least. But then they came out on TikTok and Instagram after the fact with a brief apology. Uh, it's not the worst thing in the world. I've certainly seen worse apologies, but um, could have been a bit better. Uh, but that said, at least we didn't see any ukuleles, so that's 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 one point for the uh, for the Shepherd brothers. And you know, I thought that'd be the end of it. You know, they keep that that post up for a while. They take a break, uh, regroup, and make a comeback a few months later. And everybody's everybody's chilling, you know. Um, but then, as I'm at work yesterday, I check my phone, and it's brought to my attention that they've deleted both their apologies. Uh, from what I can understand, it's because they weren't getting the reaction that they hoped. I guess they expected everybody to just immediately forgive them and start loving them again after this apology. Uh, and when that didn't work, they just deleted it, end of. And I didn't, like, I, I don't, I, I, I disagree with this wholeheartedly because deleting the apology, it makes it seem like you're not actually sorry. And I, I can't, and I'm not saying that's the case. Like, I don't know these guys, but that's, that's what it looks like, you know? Like, you can only draw so many conclusions from that. Deleting your apology, deleting your statement of accountability and doing it presumably because it's not getting the reaction you want. Um, yeah, I, I didn't agree with that at all. And I made my opinion known on my Twitter account. And yeah, it stayed up for about 10 hours, give or take, without much uh, really happening. And then a few hours later, I'm watching a documentary in bed. And then I get a notification from my phone. Uh, checkers from Marmalade has seen my tweet and he has uh, responded to it with the tweet on screen. I'm not gonna relitigate the whole scenario. You can just pause the video and read the tweets if you want, uh, up to you. My first initial thought when I saw the notification pop up on my phone was, oh wow, Checkers knows I exist. That's pretty cool. Uh, and then my second thought was, oh fuck, he, he's, he's pretty pissed off with me. I wanna briefly talk about Checkers. I, up until this moment, I had only had good things to say about him, you know? I, br I briefly, met him grand final week on the friday the day before the grand final uh he had no idea who i was he had no idea i was a content creator this was pre face reveal slash face leak um but he still came up to me dapped me up and said hey you going bro um what's up and i really appreciated that i thought i thought that was really cool like you don't even know this guy this guy's not even famous but i'm still going to come up and uh introduce myself and say hello uh, I've, I really respected that and I really appreciated that. Up until then, up until today, that's that's the only interaction I've ever had with this guy. And then I go onto my Twitter, I look at the post 
And then I see that um, Shrey, or Srey, I apologize for mispronouncing your name, um, has also chimed in. I offered my rebuttal to both of these lads, trying to add some more perspective and context to what I actually said. Um, they didn't really respond at all. Um, after the fact, they would end up just passively aggressively liking other people's responses, criticizing me, which, um, yeah, you know, draw your own conclusions. And upon further reflection, I think they are right to a certain extent. I, I shouldn't be going around calling people cowards uh, and saying that they don't have a sincere bone in their body. Um, I should definitely think before I speak, or in this case, tweet a bit more. Sometimes the way my brain works, sometimes shit just comes out without me actually realizing what I said or the gravity of it. Like my, I, I, I don't really have the attention span to really process what's happening until it's actually happened. And that's, that's my fault. That's my problem. I'm not trying to excuse it. I'm just trying to like explain it to the Shepherd brothers. If they're watching this or if somebody they know is watching this, I do apologize. Um, I'm very sorry. I shouldn't be indicting your character so aggressively. I don't believe you guys are cowards, but I do think the act itself is cowardly. And I can already hear you right now saying, oh, well, you're backtracking, but I'm not. There is a distinction between being natural cowards and acting in a cowardly manner when you're under such immense scrutiny. Like, I get it. They're probably shitting themselves. They've, they've never been in a controversy this big before. Like, I understand they'd be, they'd be pretty upset. Maybe even they're panicking a little bit. I, I, I get it for sure. And in regards to the Marmalade boys, like, I, I, I understand their point of view as well. Like, some arsehole they've never met before is criticizing their mates who are already going through a tough time. I'd be pissed off as well if I was in this situation. I, I I get it, you know? I can see where they're coming from. And if I had my time again, I wouldn't be calling them cowards and uh, fucking saying they don't have sincere bones in their body. But I would probably say something along the lines of, I think it's very disingenuous to be deleting your apology because of backlash and not getting the response that you would hope. Even if you turn off the comments, like at least leave it up so like people can actually see it and see that you've acknowledged that you've done something wrong. But unfortunately, Twitter doesn't have an edit button, nor does it have the appropriate character length to be able to get shit out properly. So yeah, that happened. Um, a few more people uh, connected to Marmalade chimed in. They threatened to cancel me faster than Usain Bolt doing the 100 meter sprint. So yeah, good luck to you, Mr. CMO. Uh, I hope I hope that works out for you. If it ended there, um, this would probably be the end of the video. I'd be telling you like, subscribe, uh, get ready for the LA Crocodiles video coming out soon, and you know we'd be all we'd be we'd be all home and happy. But it seems that they've engaged in an attempt to cancel me. And the reason I say this is because again, uh, this gentleman here says that if they wanted to, they could cancel me faster than Usain Bolt doing the 100 meter sprint. And I guess Marmalade agree because they've started posting old out of context clips on my from my Instagram from like three years ago of a deeply ironic meme featuring Peter Griffin and a Microsoft Bing movie maker uh, title card saying women. I don't I don't remember why I posted this per se. I think I just found it funny. I'm not a misogynist by any stretch of the imagination. I support the AFL. I, I support shit like the AFLW and like um, uh, women's rights and all that jazz. Like I, I, I endorse all that. I support all that like any normal person would. I don't consider myself one of these people who hates women. But yeah, they've been spreading this clip around to to try and start some backlash against me. I guess I find this very ironic because they decry cancel culture and. They are upset that their mates are getting cancelled, but then they're doing the exact same thing to me. So yeah, do as I say, but not as I do, I guess. And then you've got um, you've got one of the Marmalade subordinates up at one o'clock in the morning, Victorian time, regurgitating the exact same clip that other faceless accounts have found from my Instagram. And he's yeah, he's he's still flying the flag, which I do appreciate the uh, the commitment. I do respect that, but at the same time, like. Bro, can you go to bed? <laughs> and the only reason I was up that late to even read it is because I kept getting woken up by the fucking notification bell on my phone. So uh, yeah, Mr. Will Taylor, if you're watching this video, mate, you owe me three hours of sleep debt. I don't know how one would pay off such sleep debt, uh, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. So yeah, I don't, I don't, I, I, I think they haven't handled it particularly well. Uh, even though, like, like I said before, I get it, you know, like their mates getting called out. 
they've got some dickhead who they've never met before calling them cowards and shit like i understand why they're pissed off but at the same time like it gets to a point where it just becomes ridiculous so yeah they they, they said they could cancel me faster than usain bolt running the 100 meters but it's been about 12 or so hours now and i'm still uh not really cancelled so maybe maybe they're talking about usain bolt uh, if he had no legs no arms no eyes uh no sense of smell or taste maybe maybe that's maybe that's what they're talking about I'm, I'm not really sure but yeah so far so far things are good i think i think i'm still chilling people in the actual afl community the real afl content creation community not this circle jerk of the elites um that came after me when i criticized the shep mates um they still they're all willing to talk to me mostly um they're still in my favor I don't want to name anybody because I have reason to believe that they're going after smaller content creators who are so much as supporting me or liking my posts, uh, even saying that they don't like the shatmates in the Twitter replies to my post, which I think is a bit ridiculous. Like you cannot be too susceptible to criticism, especially when the criticism isn't actually directed at you, but your mates, because like that shit comes part and parcel with content creation and being a, being a public figure, you know, like you, you have to take it on the chin to a certain extent and yeah like it hasn't it hasn't been handled well particularly from from either side my side and their side uh quite frankly so yeah in short i should word my shit better i should think before i speak once again i want to apologize to the shep mates brothers because you know probably a bit stiff calling them cowards the marmalade boys seem to be good people you know like i still think they're good guys the people who i've spoken to in the community about this subject all vouch for them they say they're very good people and you know i'm more than willing to take their word for it and yeah like i hope i was able to add some more clarification and some more insight into what is actually happening here like what's what like what why i posted what i posted and what um has actually gone down um hopefully i'll be able to go to adelaide for gab around without too much grief now Hopefully I can still talk to people in the community publicly without them facing the um the, the the backlash of the boys club. If people like if these big famous TikTok creators hate my guts forever now, like that's their prerogative. Um that sucks, you know, but it is what it is. Um but the actual like people in the community who constantly make content and constantly get around each other and like hang out with one another and like do stuff together even though i'm a little bit older I'm, tw I'm 23 this year it's still it's still great to be a part of that you know in closing if you think i'm this vile hateful piece of shit who uh targets downtrodden victims of cancel culture who have 400,000 followers on tiktok and that i viciously bully uh underage 26 year old kids their words not mine uh in documentaries I don't think that's particularly fair. I don't think you, you I, I think you're a bit misinformed. But if your argument is that I'm a fucking dumbass who needs to think before he speaks, yeah, fair. Like, <laughs> I can't argue with that. So yeah, hope you, hopefully I'm able to clear up some shit with this video. Yeah, I, I never wanted any of this. I hope this can be resolved fairly readily. Um, and I hope, you know, I hope Shep mates can make a comeback because it would be a real shame to see such hard work and such dedication to growing a brand and a platform go to waste like that i i, I know how hard it is to to get your name out there and to put yourself out there and to grow as a creator um even though i'm not as big as them by a by a long shot i still I, I i get it you know so to see that go to waste would be a real shame so hopefully they can come back from this and, and keep going um and yeah that's 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 it take care bye bye